Well, hey, and welcome to another episode of Beetle Dustino coming at you again today with yet another video. We're going to do another What's in the Box, so <laughs> keep those a rolling. Before we do get started, though, I do want to thank all my subscribers. Thanks to any new subscribers, and especially got to say thanks. I've hit 500. I'm going to be saying this for a few videos. I'm just blown away. I've hit 500. I didn't think I was going to get that far. Thank you so much, everybody that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Also, hit the notification bell so you do know when I got new videos coming out, like another what's on the what's in the box or what's on the rack. Also, if you do like the video, please give it a like. It really does help out the channel. And please do leave a comment. I do love having a discussion with everybody. But let's get on with this next episode of What's in the Box. What's the gun I down? saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my sin. Oh, uh, what's in the box? I guess Brad Pitt left the wheel of fish because yeah, he's just out there screaming what's in the box again. I don't know. Ugh. That box, ugh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> these boxes never contain whatever he's going to find in that one, so thank goodness. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of Beatles boxes lately. Uh, we've done the U.S. Albums box, the Capitol Albums Volume 1 and 2, uh, the Beatles in Mono, the Beatles uh, Original Studio Recordings, or the Stereo Box. So we've done a lot of kind of recent, more modern box sets aside from the uh, 50th anniversary special edition type ones with the dedicated to the single album which one day those will get on here <laughs> so i do get a couple of older beatles cd boxes and i thought i'd cover a couple of those it seems it's only a couple to cover so next couple episodes will be be those too <laughs> so we're gonna go way back in the the time machine here back to 1992 june 30th 1992 and we're gonna look at the Beatles Compact Disc EP Collection. So a pretty cool little box. I remember seeing this when it first came out. It was right about when this came out. It would have been right about when I was starting to kind of listen to the Beatles. So it would have been fairly new. And I remember you said there wasn't a website <laughs> in the, the mid-90s, early 90s there. So you, you had to, in a lot of the packages there, like Live at the BBC, I know had it, and the anthologies it had a little slip where you'd send away for a little catalog, and you'd get a catalog of Beatles merchandise. And I remember looking through it, I would always see this and the box coming up in the next video in there, and I always kind of wondered, why Why would you want that? I guess as a teenager, very limited budget, I just didn't get spending the money on these. And I'm kind of glad once I got older, I did pick up a copy of it. This one, I think I got new, but I didn't keep any of the kicking myself. This was before I realized the importance of everything that was on the shrink wrap there. I didn't keep any of that, but I did find a new copy and it was a very reasonable price. I can't remember exactly what I paid, but I know it was in the $100 range. Yeah, this is it. So there's the front and the one side here, which is, does have the Apple logo and um, Parlophone EMI type information there, Capital Records, and then the, the catalog number there too. Pretty cool. And I'll show you the other side and the top, not much there, the bottom and the back, not much there either, which is what I'm kicking myself for. I think that I did have that nice little back explaining what it was. Now this box, they kind of made it kind of a miniaturized version. They've been doing since the late seventies, very similar box, the, the Beatles vinyl set, kind of the collection there. Um, I know they did a, a mono set, a single set, the EP set, all with the vinyl. And they all did the same little open, like, it comes open like this and then it's got another little flap that goes like that and then it reveals your your disc there so let's take a look what's in there and you do got to really be careful with these because those those flaps do fall, fall apart mine luckily was sealed so everything is still good with it it's only been open as many times as i've opened it it hasn't been much but yeah let's get these out oh something's stuck there there we go that's what's in the box now, nothing. And let's look at the contents here. We do have, first one, the Beatles hits. And they did try to recreate the original sleeves pretty good here. So even right down to the back with all the info there. These are all presented in mono for the most part. They all got the same label. I will show you the disc real quick but on each one, but it's all the same. This kind of black and gold Parlophone. Next one up, we got Twist and Shout. There's the front. There really is no spine, so I'm not going to show you anything for the spine on these. And the back there. And there's the disc again. And then we got the Beatles number one. I absolutely love these with all the different 
kind of alternate versions of some of the the album art that we're we're used to and, um some shots that we haven't seen on much other items there and this one speaking of that kind of a take all my loving here this one's called and a little take on the with the beatles adding a little color to it they do try to recreate it pretty strong but of course it does have the apple logo down in the corner there there's the disc on that one and this one's a big one because up until the past masters and some of the other rarities and such this wasn't this was the only place you could get these particular tracks was long tall sally so some of these eps were the only place you could find these i mean at this point in the compact disc era you had these on an album somewhere with like i said the past masters or i think some of the rarities albums the uk and the us ones probably had a few of those and a lot of those probably made on the Capitol records anyway but here's the next one i get a kick out of this we got extracts from the film a hard day's night a little different take on that <laughs> and the back there so these are just from would be the a side which was the the music from from the film almost <laughs> all of it minus about three tracks i think and then we got extracts from the album a hard day's night so now from the b-side we've taken the tracks <laughs> all but three of them again <laughs> so kind of odd that they kept just reissuing it there's the disc there and again <laughs> we're going to do kind of albums this one doesn't even have a different name. It's just Beatles for Sale. So just like the album, it's three tra or four tracks off of it. Now, one thing I caught doing my research on this, up to this point in the compact disc era, this is all pretty normal. Everything's in mono. So those albums would have all been in mono on the compact disc. As we get progressing here, there's going to be a little change. So we got Beatles for Sale, number two. So you got another one from Beatles for Sale. I like that image on the front. The only one that does credit Robert Freeman there. You do see his credit there on the front. And there is the disc. And then we got Beatles Million Sellers. The back. And the disc. Now this is where it starts getting different, like I said. So up to that point, all those were on albums. The first four albums, once they went released on compact disc, were just presenting mono. Everything past those first four, so starting with Help, everything on was in stereo. And you couldn't get an in mono version, basically, at that time on, on CD. Yeah, you could go back and get the old vinyl and get it, but on CD, that was the only way you could get it. Well, <laughs> there's a couple of discs here. Starting with yesterday here, you can see up in the corner, it does say mono. So these are all off of the album Help, and all these are in mono. So at the time, in the, the early 90s there, this was the only way you were going to get these tracks on CD in mono. So it's only a few discs that are like this, but I thought it was kind of interesting to show there. Then we got Nowhere Man. So this would have been Rubber Soul time frame. Of course, I love that image on the front there. And there's the back. And again, like I said, mono. And we'll take a look at the disc there. And this next one, I think this was the main reason why I wanted to get this. I thought this was a cool piece in this set, the Magical Mystery Tour EP. And this is straight down, everything is there. Now they kind of made it, still made it a double disc, but not quite like the original EP. So they did something kind of cool here. So we, I'll open it up, I'll show you the book. You can see the one disc there, and I'll flip through the book here real quick. So the same book that's in most of the Magical Mystery Tour stuff. So we're all familiar with it, so I'm going to just flip through it quick, but just to show you, it's all there. Very nicely done. Very cool little package. And almost there. As I've already talked, <laughs> I'm not talking over showing the book. All right, and then you can see there's another disc there. So. Obviously, you can fit everything on one disc at this point. So what did they do to make two discs? Well, disc one here is presented in stereo. Disc two is presented in mono. I'll show you a little close-up here of the, and you can see it there. And believe it or not, they did mono on disc two, not disc one. I would have thought they would have went the other way there with that. 
but very cool little package. I love that. That was my primary reason for buying this box, I, just because I thought that was so cool. All right, and then the next one is kind of a bonus disc. This one was kind of made up for the box when the vinyl box first came out, which, yeah, there was a vinyl box of so this, and I'll, I'll hit on this right now. That came out originally on December 7th of 1981. Over 11 years, well, a little over 10 years, I guess, <laughs> between the two being released. So, but yeah, this is just called The Beatles. It uses pretty much the same artwork that the Strawberry Fields Penny Lane single had. You can see, though, it is stereo. That one's marked, designated. And looking at the track listing there, I'll show you that again there quick. And there is kind of some unique um, mixes here. So the first one is the Inner Light. It says originally this was issued as the B-side to the single Lady Madonna in 1968. However, this is the first time the track has been released in stereo. And then the next one, of course, is Baby, You're a Rich Man, released in mono in 1967 as the B-side of All You Need Is Love. This stereo version has only appeared on the UK cassette of Magical Mystery Tour and the German issue of Magical Mystery Tour album, of the Magical Mystery Tour album. There we go. And then the next one is She's a Woman. And this one, the, the this stereo track was originally issued in mono as the B-side of I Feel Fine in 1964. It is only available in stereo on an Australian album and was recently included in the box set compilation The Beatles Box, issued by World Records. So there we go. So place at this time that you'd find that on CD. And then this boy, never before issued in stereo in the UK, although it has appeared on releases in both Canada and Australia. It was originally the B-side of I Want to Hold Your Hand, released in 1963. So kind of a unique little bonus there that they added. Nice little explanation of it all, yeah. too. So there we go. That was the Beatles EP, compact disc EP collection. So yeah, the, it was only the vinyl and the CD version of this. I really, with the single, the singles box that came out a little while back on, on the 45s, beautiful box set. I'll show a picture of it up there, and that, that will be coming up in the future what's in the box. Why haven't they released the EP set again? And, you know, kind of repackage it, kind of re-update it, you know, get it a little freshened up there. I'd love to see this in a, a reissue on vinyl. You know, new, fresh box, everything. And that singles box was such a hit. Very good sounding mixes on it and everything. I, You know, why they haven't done the, the EP one with it. I think there's some very cool EPs in here, that Magical Mystery Tour double EP, the Long Tall Sally, kind of having that the their uniqueness and just, you know, that artwork and stuff would be look really cool on more of the seven inch instead of this CD scale. Now I looked around for some prices on this. I did find there was one selling on Amazon. It was about two hundred ninety nine dollars, three hundred dollars, I guess. eBay it was going anywhere between seventy two to two hundred twenty five dollars. And Discogs I saw it as low as forty five. Now I didn't read the description, so I'm guessing there was a disc or two missing at that price. But going all the way up to five hundred. So there is. Our prices on that, yeah, if you're looking to get it yet, I think it's a fun little box. I think it looks great in my, my collection up there with my other box sets. I'm glad I picked it up. I think, you know, at the time with the CDs, there was some uniqueness to it with the fact, like I said, there was a few discs there that you couldn't get on the Magical Mystery Tour would be another one that in mono. That was the only place you were going to find it on compact disc in mono. Kind of some coolness that I didn't see as a younger... <laughs> Beatles fan getting into it all. But anyways, I am going to get wrapping up. Again, I want to thank all my subscribers. Thanks to any new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Like I said, I hit that 500 mark and I'm just surprised. It's amazing. In under a year, I've hit that. I, I, I did not expect that at all or at any point, I guess. So thank you, everybody. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, like I said, and hit the notification bell so you do know when I got new what's in the box or what's in the rack videos coming out. Also, if you do like the video and you must like it, if you stuck around to this point, give it a like. Um, it really does help out the channel. And do leave a comment. I love having a discussion with everybody. Let me know if you got this box and let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you'd like to see a reissue of it on vinyl. I know I would. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to get signing out. I'm Beetle Dustino, signing out.